Hi, Cat's Cradle here. I'm going to make a few really sharp videos today. Uh, you have inundated my inbox with all kind of newsy information that really needs to get out. Uh, you guys sh who are so good at ferreting out the news should really jump in there and help me and start making videos and put this information out. I am absolutely swamped, but I'm going to try to get some of these uh, articles out to you as quickly as I can. I'll post the link to this one as well, which appeared on Fox News. I'm not a fan of Fox News. However, uh, this information uh, was also published yesterday in the uh, September 19th issue of the Journal of the American Medical Association. And <clears throat> the information is chemical BPA linked to obesity in children and teens, which means it's going to be linked to obes obesity in us as well, I'm sure. Uh, those children grow up to be grow up to be us uh, but let me tell you a little bit about it, what it says here um, I'm not going to read the whole thing to you uh, if you don't know BPA is an endocrine, endocrine disruptor that upsets the delicate balance between estrogen and testosterone in our bodies and in this study they looked at 3,000 children between the ages of 6 and 19 years of age and they found that higher levels of BPA uh, that that children who had uh, the higher levels of BTA in their body had a 2.6 times higher odds of being obese uh, that should be a real concern to you. Uh, let me tell you a little bit what, about what this says here. Uh, the chemical called bisphenol A, BPA, is a low-grade estrogen <clears throat> that until recently was found in certain plastic bottles typically marked with the number 7 inside the recycling symbol. Still used as an internal coating for aluminum cans, BPA acts as an antiseptic and helps prevent corrosion according to manufacturers. In a 2003 to 2004 National Health and Nutrition Examination survey, uh, they found BPA exposure is nearly ubiquitous in the U.S. population, with 92.6% of people aged 6 and over having detectable levels of BPA in their urine. The survey also found that dietary sources appear to be responsible for 99% of BPA exposure. Besides obesity, BPA has been linked to cardiovascular disease, breast cancer, prostate cancer, neurological disorders, diabetes, and infertility. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration, the FDA, recently banned BPA from sippy cups and baby bottles, but did not extend that ban to other products. Quote, the FDA declined to ban BPA from aluminum cans, saying they wanted to wait for further evidence. What does that mean in real terms? What that means is that you and I are the guinea pig. They're going to wait. Is it not that they can't do the study or they can't? No. It's that you and I are going to be the guinea pig because these companies who put this garbage in our food stand to make so much money and lobby, and, and their lobby is so huge that they go ahead and allow, uh, a after just a very short cursory study, the FDA will grant them permission to use these substances, which they presume to be toxic, but they haven't done the test on them, and then let you and I become the guinea pig. And then 20 or 30 years from now, not even that long, I mean, if they're already finding that it's, that it's contributing to obesity right now in our children, then we, then we have the health problems and uh, good luck on fixing that. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm tired of being the guinea pig. If you want to stay away from this garbage, eat real food. One of the best ways to do it is to grow it yourself. Uh, if you can't, uh, buy as organic as you can and for heaven's sakes quit e eating the processed garbage. It is killing us. Anyway, I said it was going to be a short video and I'm trying to do that. So I'm going to post the link to this below. Let me know what you think. Until next time, Cat's Cradle.